This is a video chart presentation of Cirrus Energy Corp. brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com with technical analysis by Andy from Understanding Venture Plays. Cirrus is a Canadian company trading on the Venture Exchange under the ticker CYR. See well off its highs back here in April of $2.30. Pretty good downtrend it went through. Established a pretty good base here around $0.50. Cents. Now it's trying to make a new higher low and make a climb. So we're going to take a look at these lower indicators and see what they're telling us. Nice overall uptrend in the MACD and the PPO coming off the pinch that gave it a nice bounce. These histogram bars tell us we're about ready to get a bullish cross of the signal line. When they pop through zero, that means we did get the bullish cross. Same way with the PPO. Recent downtrend collected by that MACD trending down, but it looks like overall it's trying to put an end to this short-term downtrend and establish this long-term uptrend. So we take a look at something like the ADX. Very nice look to it. Not much strength right now. It's in a trading pattern, not in a trending pattern. About ready to get a bullish cross of the positive DI through the ADX. What we're going to want to see is this ADX roll back off of this area, off of 25, when it gets the cross of the positive DI, and start to make a move and break through 20 and put some strength to the direction on this chart. So if it makes that move off the bottom, holds support levels, and starts moving to the north side, we'll see an inversion of these two positive and negative DIs where they'll flip flop places. And we'll be looking for the ADX to start putting a solid uptrend to it, add some strength to the overall direction. MFI's a little bit of concern here because of the separation between the 14 and the 21. There's been a lot of buying pressure these last few days. See three straight up days. So we're seeing the 7 move quickly. The, the 21, of course, is based on days previous, so it still has to catch back up. They don't like to trade way away from each other, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this and see what's going on. They're not too far away at this point, but we don't want to see the 7 and 14 all the way up here near 80, and this 21 still lagging so far behind. They need to move a little bit more smoothly together. Overall, its accumulation distribution is trying to make a new high or low at this point. See, pretty solid downtrend it was in. What you look for in the long term, if you're not looking at a chart just for today or tomorrow, you're looking for longevity to the overall move. You'll be looking for this to get all the way up into here and to make a new higher high and establish a channel. So making this new higher low is a good thing right through this area. We want to see this continue. Keep show that buying pressure is still strong in this chart. It's reinforced by the shaking money flow, which is about ready to break through zero at this point, telling you that selling pressure is being overcome by buying pressure. Clearly, with this sharp move from below negative 0.5 all the way back up to zero over the last few days, shows there has been a lot of buying pressure. CCI has a very nice look to it. Nice uptrend starting, kind of getting itself into a little bit of a channel. We want to see this break through zero and trade up the upper end of its average mean. But holding over negative 100 is a start for it. Breaking through zero is the next step. So very nice look to the CCI at this point. Same way with the full still. Bounce right off the bottom. Sharp move. We're seeing it start to try and break through 50 at this point. The break through 20 is showing some momentum coming in. The break through 50 shows you that the momentum is becoming very strong. So we're going to look for this to continue. With most indicators, you want to see them trading at the higher side of the indicator. So we're going to look for this to break and hold above 50. Tricks. There's no real valley at this point. But we'll put this trend line somewhere right around through here. Because if it continues on its course, it's going to make a turn, going to have a bullish cross. And we want to see this establish a new higher low again. For the tricks, the key is maintaining an uptrend and getting back over zero. If it does that, it's a very good indicator for long-term moves, very slow, very smooth. So look in the future for that bullish cross and look for a trend line somewhere right around here to be established. RSIs are falling right into that category of needing to break through 50. See when they get through here, a little bit of a dip back down below it. But overall, trading over 50, showing some strength, and look at the price per share climbing. So we want to see this happen in, in this area as well. We want to see that 14 and 21 that are about ready to break through 50. See at 49.5 and, and 48.06. You want to see them make their way through 50, follow this 7, which just made the break through it, and start trading over that middle barrier. The big key to this chart is holding support. Right here at the very bottom, about 58 cents. You can see right through this area for 59 cents, right up to 60. Good support right through there. Dip down below it two days later. It pulled right back up. This chart I'd like to see hold 60. No worse than 58. I'd really, if it, if it starts beating on 60, I'd really have my eyes wide as to whether or not it's going to hold 58. Volume is pretty decent. 209,000 shares. I'd like to see that pick up a little bit. But you can see this is a relatively low volume stock. The key to it, in my opinion, lies in holding 60 and making a move. This is pretty clear resistance right here at 70 cents. 50 day moving average is right there at 70. It was a resistance area right through here, resistance right through here, a support level bounced down, hit 71, broke through that support, classic TA, that support becomes resistance, and you can see it came up, couldn't make it through it, came up, couldn't make it through it. Now it's making a move and challenging it again. See, it closed at 67 cents. It's going to have to break through that 70 mark 
and try and get above this middle Bollinger Band and above this 50-day moving average. Big key to this chart. We'll also be looking for this trend line to fall, which does bear some importance just being a trend line. Those of you that follow our charts know I don't typically put targets, but I will point out the next resistance level is going to be right here around 80 cents as far as price per share. But really what you're looking for down the road with this is to take out this 87, 88 and try and make a new high. That's important just to develop a new uptrend to it. It'll create a channel, something along those lines. That's what you'll be looking for. It's not going to really see any price per share resistance until all the way up here near $1.20. Obviously, that's well away. It's not a goal where you say, I want to see that tomorrow. You're looking for this to take baby steps, and that means holding the 60 cents, taking out the 70 cents in this 50-day moving average, and then getting up here and challenging 80 cents. Of course, that's pretty nice gains. Stock closed at 67. That's about 20% from where it is now. So never try and get greedy. Never just trade these things smart. Look for them support resistance levels and see how it reacts to a higher resistance level. These are the things that I'm going to be looking for in Sirius Energy. As always, the sanitated video chart is merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant and strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. It's all the qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Thanks for watching and trade smart.